Good afternoon, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm bringing you the Roggen Core by WUC or Wooch or Woos. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, and this puzzle, I, yeah, this one is a little daunting. I've always had trouble with uh, Roggen puzzles, but we'll see how this one goes. Now, the rules above aren't complete um, because there was too many rules to fit into the box and make it readable, and readability is important. But the rules that I haven't included are all standard um, standard rules, and if you're familiar with those, um, you should be okay. But if you're after a um, copy of the rules, um, they're in the description below. We'll have the full rules, as will the puzzle link itself, which is also below. Below. So I'm um, not hiding the rules from you. I'm just making it that the rules box above has all of the relevant information that you will need. Um, yeah. So what do we have for the Roggen Core by Wooch? Woos? Wooch? Wook? Let's say Wook. Um, so normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Now, box five the three by three box in the center is fully infected by false information. All clues in box five are wrong, meaning not entirely correct. All clues outside box five are correct. Now for arrows, XV dominoes, the killer cage, thermometers, and the magenta Renban line, common rules apply. So arrows, digits along an arrow um, must sum to the number indicated in the circle from which the arrow emerges. Digits may repeat along arrows if allowed by other rules. The XV dominoes, so cell separated by an X must sum to 10. Cell separated by a V must sum to 5. Not all Xs and Vs are necessarily given. So it's XV pairs. Killer cages. Digits in the cage um, cannot repeat and must sum to the value shown in the upper left corner of the cage. So these would normally need to sum to 6, but it's in box 5. So these cannot sum to 6. Thermometers. Uh, digits on thermometers are strictly increasing from bulb to tip, except in this case, probably not. Um, and Renban line, usually shown as purple lines, digits along a Renban line must form a, not, a set of non-repeating consecutive digits in any order. So we cannot make this a set of, because it's in box five, a set of consecutive non-repeating digits in any order. I have no idea how hard this is going to be. Let's give this a shot. So these are actually correct V clues. So the only way to make things sum to five is one, four, or two, three. So these are one, two, three, or four. I could also mark them as low digits. Now, we know that the normal Sudoku rules in box five. Um, so we'd still need to do one to nine in box five. Now, 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 now. Trying to figure out the arrows as well. Minimum one, minimum one, minimum one, two. So the minimum this could be is five. So we know that these Vs have to be wrong because if these were correct, these would be the same digit. So it's very clear there's something broken in box five. Do I have to start in box five? There must be a low digit. On, oh, okay. So this is going to be a high digit because of the X. This is going to be a high digit. This is going to be a high digit because um, a, you make a 10 sum by adding 1 to 9, 2 to 8, 3 to 7, or 4 to 6. And you can never put a 5 on one of these. There must be a low digit in here. Now, this is 6, 7, 8, or 9. Now, we actually could possibly do something about this. If this is 6, this is... Right, we can determine... Narrow this down to four possibilities. Because if this is 6, this is 4, this is 1, and this is 5. If this is 7, this is 3, this is 2, and this is 5. If Oh, this will always be 5. 8 makes this 2, which makes this 3, and this is 5. And if this is 9, this is 1, which makes this 4, and this is always 5. And I think the same is going to happen here. 6, 7, 8, 9. No. No. This can't be a 9. So this can't be a 1, so this can't be a 4. If this is 8, 2, this would be a 3, and I've blown the total. So this can't be an 8, this can't be a 2, this can't be a 3. 7, 3, 2 would make this 7 and 2. This would be 1, no, 7, 3, 2 is blowing the total because I need to add a digit. This is 6, this is 4, this is 1. 6 and 1, oh, that's very cool. There's no 4 here, so there's no 1 here. That is cool. And I can probably do the same here. Six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine. I've blown the total. So no, no, one, nine, no, one, no, four. 
eight, two, three means eight and three, and I've blown the total. There's no eight, there's no two, there's no three. Seven, three, two means these sum to nine. This would have to be zero to keep that down. So this is six, four, and one. Now, these are at least seven plus whatever that, oh, this is, right, I've got this, no, I've got it here, I don't have it here. This is seven, but I have to add at least one more digit to it, and it can't be one. This is a two, this is a nine, this is a one, this is not one four anymore, this is two three. I could have told this wasn't one four because of the one four looking down. Four comes out of there, there's no four one here. So this is two or three, two means this is eight, and three means this is seven. Do I care about the high-low coloring anymore? There's no 1-4 here, so there's no 1-4 here. I don't think I do, actually. I'm going to get rid of the high-low coloring. Maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> this is definitely... No, this is not 1-4. That's an X clue. So this is 7. This is a... If this is a 1, this is an 8. If this is a, oh, it can't be a two. This is a one. The next digit it could be is four. So this is one and this is eight, which means this is seven, which means this is two and this is three. I love these arrows. These arrows on the outside are stunning. I have no idea what it's doing for this. The two here means this is the three and this is the two. How do I make this work? I'm wondering if I can get more of this arrow. Now, this could be 1-9 in this order. It can't be 2837. It could be 4-6 in either order. They're the only possibilities for that. 2 must be up here because of the 2s. 4 is also in one of those. 1 is in one of those. No, one is on this V clue. So I can't put a four here. So one can't be here, it can't be here, and it can't be... Here. Oh, this is a one. Because I've also got a one here. This is a one. So these can't contain four. And I can't put four in any of those or any of those. That is a four. Because if I put four there, these V clues would be correct. This now can't be the two. Because if this was the two... I can't put two in any of those because of the twos looking in the box. And if I put two here, this six clue would be correct. That's not the two, that's the two. That's very nice. So what next? Four is in one of those two. Oh, the two is looking down, making that the three and that the two. Now, this is a minimum of two. If this wasn't a two, it'd be a four, and I'd blow the total. Because if this isn't a two, I couldn't use a three. This would be four. Four plus three plus two, I'm already at nine, and this would have to be a zero to make that a nine. So this has to be a two. I'm now at seven. If this was a one, this would be an eight. I can't use a two. So if this was a three, this would be a 10, and it doesn't work. This is one and eight. And I've done all of those arrows. Now, this can't be a six. Eight is in one of the corners. Okay, let's try and do some more Sudoku, I think, because this box is confusing me. This can't be a six. The six, the cage is already done. Oh, this has to be, this can't be higher. Oh, the thermo has to be wrong. If this was higher than four, the thermo would be correct. So this has to be lower than four. That's the three. Eight is now down here. This is the three by Sudoku because of the two threes looking in the box. These are six, seven, eight, nine. Eight is in one of those two. Six is in one of those two. So this is only seven or nine. That's a four by Sudoku. Five is in one of those two by Sudoku. Six is in one of those two by Sudoku. So this is seven or nine.
six is in one of those two by Sudoku. Now, this Renban line, these are five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, if this was a five, this would be six, seven, eight, nine and valid. This can't be a five. If this is nine, this would be five, six, seven, eight and valid. This can't be a nine. This has to be six, seven, or eight. It can't be eight because it sees an eight, sees multiple eights. So this is six or seven. But if it was six, the X clue would be correct. That's the seven, and I can take seven out of those. That's five, six, eight, nine. This can't be higher than seven because then the thermo would correct. correct. I can take the eight, nine out of there which means that's not an eight, that's not an eight. And I think I've now done all the clues. The thermo is wrong, this thermo is wrong, the V is wrong, the V is wrong, the X is wrong, the cage is wrong, and the Renban is wrong. I've got all the Roggen clues now. The seven makes that the nine. There's no nine here. The five means this can't be the five. There's a five, six in the row. This is the six. This is the five. There's no five in any of those. So this is the six and this is an eight, nine pair. The nine looks up making that the eight and that the nine. And I've got the box Roggen. The box is correct. It's not wrong, but it is Roggen. One, two, three, four, five, and seven go into those. The six looks across making that the six, that the nine. So this is a five, seven pair. I can remove the corner marks. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I can remove the corner marks. Now I'm down to Sudoku. Three is in one of those two. This three says not there. Six must be on this X clue because six can't go there and these two sixes are eliminating all of those. This is a four six. It is not a one nine. So four is down here. That doesn't feel like the place to look, does it? So I need to put a two in this box. Can't go in either of those because of these twos. It can't go there. That's the two. This is a triple. Five, six, and nine. There's no five or nine there. That's the six. I can take the six out of those two. The five and the nine, but the six makes that the four and that the six. Can I resolve the five and the nine? Yes, the nine looks up, making that the five and that the nine. So I've got this now. One, two, three, four. This is the five. And these, something is looking down. That six is looking down saying that's not the six. So that's the six and that's the four. These are now seven and eight. Cool. So when you get this fairly solid cross pattern, it can be a little tricky sometimes to get into the corners because there's not a lot of positive information about these, but there'll be some weakness somewhere. Like sometimes you just got to look at the quads and see what's going on. So one, seven, eight, nine, there's no one there. Eh, there's no one there. There's no eight there. That doesn't feel like it, does it? What about this column? Three, five, eight. Seven, eight. So three, five, seven, five, eight. And that's any of them. This one, five, seven, eight, one, five, seven, five, seven, eight. Nope. Ah, two and two mean two's not in any of those. Two and two means that is a two. So now this row has a triple in it. Four, five, eight. So these are four, five, eight. There's no five there. So five is in one of those two. That is not the five. Hmm. Incredibly clever up until here. What am I, I bet it's a scanning thing. Like if I had the show conflict checker on, it would probably like highlight one cell with bright red and I'd be able to see what I'm missing. Six, six, six is right here. 
six, 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 six. I've got all the sixes. One is in one of those two. Two is right here because two's looking into the box. That's a six and two looking down. That's a two. which means I've got all the twos. Three is now in one of those two by Sudoku, and that three says not there. That's the three. Which means three is in one of those two by Sudoku. That three is looking down saying not there. That's the three. So three is in one of those two, but it can't be there because of that. That is the three. So this is five, seven, or eight. Four is not in any of those or any of those. That's a four. That is a four. So these are five, seven, and eight. One, two, three. Yeah, these are five, seven, and eight. That's not an eight. So that's a five, seven pair, taking seven out of there. So what is these triple? Because two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, four, nine. These are one, four, and nine. There's no four there. So that's a one, nine pair. That's the four. But the one, nine pair takes nine out of there. Four has to be in one of those. That's the only place for four. I can't put four there. I can't put four there. I can't put four there. That's the four, which means this is the five, and this is a seven, eight pair. The eight makes that the seven, and that the eight. That should break a lot open. That takes eight out of both of those. Seven has to be in one of those two. But the four here is looking at making that the eight, which I could have got from the row. So this is seven, nine in the column. So this is the one. This can't be the seven. That's the nine. That's the seven. That's the five. The nine is looking across, making this the one and this the nine. Bingo, bango, bongo. The five is looking down, taking five out of there. So I've got a seven, eight pair. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, that's the one. I, I skipped the one for some reason. This is not the one. Zathras returns. Five is looking down, making that seven and that five, which makes that seven, which makes that eight and that five. The eight looks up, making that seven and that eight. It's got to be falling apart now. There's no seven there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine go in. The five is looking down, making that the eight, which makes that the seven, which makes that the eight. The seven looks across, making that the nine and that the seven. Better be falling apart now, because these are five and nine. The five makes that the nine and that the five, and that is the correct solution. 15 minutes, 32. I have no problem with short, fun puzzles, and this was a short, fun puzzle. But I did get it wrongin'. I got it correct, but I got it wrongin. But I got it correct. But I didn't get it wrong, I got it wrongin. I'm going to stop saying stupid things now. I'm really not. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. That wasn't stupid. I am thanking everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.